Advent is the season of hope. Each day, we light a candle as a sign of that hope, the hope that the light of Christ will soon break into our lives in a new and miraculous way. But in the town of Assisi this year, a different symbol of hope is on display, a small wooden boat, its paint chipped and its edges worn by the battering of waves. It is the boat that carried migrants and refugees on a perilous journey across the Mediterranean to the shores of Lampedusa. The vessel, now transformed into a nativity scene, sits beneath a large Christmas tree outside St. Francis Basilica, where refugees from Afghanistan, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Syria gathered on Sunday for a lighting ceremony. Pope Francis joined remotely from the Vatican with this message for the refugees. Raise your head, the Lord is near, and with him is strength, salvation, hope. The heart, perhaps, is sorrowful, but the head is high in the hope of the Lord. In this week's readings, we gain a deeper understanding of that hope. Christian hope is not blind optimism about the path ahead, but a hard-won trust, often born in the midst of suffering. In Sunday's first reading, we hear from Baruch, who addresses Jerusalem as if she is the mother awaiting the return of her lost children of Israel. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. Like so many of today's refugees, the Israelites suffered in exile, but endured in their hope that they would one day return home to live in peace and freely worship in the house of the Lord. It is the hope bolstered by the prophetic words of Isaiah, echoed by John the Baptist in Sunday's Gospel. The winding roads shall be made straight, the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. And yet with this message of hope comes a call for a baptism of repentance for forgiveness of sins. So perhaps we can repent for the times when our fear or hardened hearts made the path more difficult for those who are traveling in hopes of a better life. And as we light our own candles in hopes of Christ's coming, we may ask ourselves, what can I do to make straight and smooth the way for those whose last hope is a small wooden boat? Señor